welcome all today in this session i'm going to tell you that how you can write a java program to short a custom class object array list custom class object means a class which is not inbuilt in java it is created by you so for this purpose you can see that i have a class in my program that is a student and it contains two properties roll number and name here so i have just created a constructor so i can assign the values easily so in my uh, let's make automation easy uh, class main method i created a array list of student here you can see this is array list of student and then i created uh, four objects of student s1 s2 s3 and s4 and for s1 i put the Roll number two, name is Chad. For S2, ma, I have just passed the roll number three and name is Bob. For S3, the roll number is one and the name is Ahmed. For S4, the roll number is four and the name is Doug. Now I added all these four objects in my ARR array list here in this lines here. So let me run it and the see what it is going to display on my console. So you can see that when I run the program, it is printing the array list in the default insert, inserting order. For example, you can see that first object I added S1, this one. So S1 object is printing here in the array list, roll number 21. Then we are able to see that it is printing S2 object for which roll number is 3. And then it is printing the object S3, which is roll number 1 and Amit. And it is printing the fourth object where the roll number is for here so ma what we want here we want to short the array list we want to short this custom array list of a student on the basis of the roll number of the student so for that purpose what we can do we can do simply one thing uh, let me show you for that purpose you can first of all you can use a collections class and collection class contains a method that is called short. So short contains two methods. This is only array, which is uh, uh, taking a list as a parameter. And the second function short, which is taking array list is the first parameter, or you can say list is the first parameter and second is the comparator. So I will tell you that how you can make it easily possible You in the, you can say same function here. So just call the second one. And the second parameter, uh, the first parameter, you have to pass the array list. And in case of second, you have to pass the object of the comparator. You have to pass the object of a comparator class here, you can see here. So for that purpose, you can do one thing, simply do one thing here, create a separate class for the comparator. So I'm saying that uh, a role, or you can say class role number comparator comparator so you have to class, uh, create a class roll number comparator and which will say implements i m p l e okay so that i am creating when the main method so i have to write this code outside the main method outside the class so let me put it here so here let me put it here this is implements and i'm gi uh, giving the name of the class uh, interface which i'm uh, implementing that is comparator so first of all what you have to do you have to create a separate class you have to create a separate class you have to create a separate class for your comparator here so here class just give any name of the class implement comparator and in the comparator you have to instead of t this is called template class you have to pass the student okay now simply this one so in this class you have to implement a method that is called this one add unimplemented method and it will automatically implement the method compare so you have to override this function so in this method you can you have to do write only one thing simply remove this and in case of return zero you can say that you g o one o one dot you want to uh, short the error list on the base of the roll number. So o one dot roll number dot compare to. And then you have to write second object o two dot roll number. So now this is the class you have created a separate class roll number implements comparator. And here you have just implemented the method compare simply this one. So here in the written o1 dot roll number compared to o2 now 
if you as a second parameter if you will cast pass the object of this class it will automatically short on the base of the id so how how i can do it here so i can do it here like before this class let me create the object of a my roll number comparator roll number comparator roll number comparator i'm just writing here new roll number comparator here and after that i will simply do one thing i will pass this object as a second parameter here so now you can see here simply let me explain it again what we have done uh, i already told you this is array list which uh, i have created for object of student class then i added the array here so now whenever you want to make a shorting on a uh, array list which is of custom class object custom is that is created by you so student class is created by me so for that purpose first of all you have to create a class role number comparator you can give any name implements and then you have to implement the comparator class and in the comparator you have to give the name of the class for which you want to achieve the sorting so when you uh, implement this class comparator by default it contains the method compare and you will override in the override you have to write the code 01 dot role number dot compare to code so now this is this class you have created here you can create this class separately also or you can create in the same class okay now after that i have created the object of this class roll number comparator r and c and then collection dot short i pass the arrays and the second parameter as an object of this class now let me run this uh, class and you can see in the console that it is giving the same order or different so let me run it now you can see this time it is shorted on the base of you can say the roll number you want to see it just see here first object is roll number one amit second is roll number two and third is object roll number three and fourth is roll number four so in this way you can short the address on the base of you can say that you can short on the base of your particular property so suppose take the example now you want to short the address on the base of the name so what you have to do simply you can do one thing you can create one more class here so just create one more class here and just say you can give the name uh name comparator okay and only the difference is that uh, here in the comparison you can use dot name so i'm saying that o1 dot name compared to o2 dot name so now you can see that it means this class object will come uh, you can just short your object on the base of roll number and this class object will short your object on the base of your name here now you can see that if you want to make a shorting on the base of on the base of your can say name in that case here you can create the here you can create the object of your name comparator name comparator name comparator equal to new name comparator and now you can see that previously it was this uh, line was printing the array list on the base of your number because i was passing rnc now i will pass nc now let me pass nc here and now let me run this code for you and just see that it is shorting on the base of name or not so now you can see that it is uh, shorting the array list on the base of name here you can see here clearly here row number one don't focus on this focus on that first name amit second name bob third name chad and fourth name is doug here so now in this way you can uh, make a shorting of your any custom class object by using the comparator one there is another option for this that is called comparable but comparator is mostly used because using comparator you can create multiple properties you can create multiple classes for your uh, different type of shorting different type of shorting on the basis of different type of properties i hope you like the video if you have any comment you can put uh, in the comment of this video i will put this whole code in the description of this video if you want you can refer to that now if you like this video can again click on the like button and if you have not subscribed my channel till now you can subscribe it thank you